Welcome to Build and Waffle, where I build your ideas and probably waffle on about something else. Today we're going to be doing a starter base, and it's going to be a wooden style, and I'm really excited about it. And we're going to go over a few of the basic steps and requirements to be able to make a base like that. But I gotta say, this is the coolest seed I have, frankly, seen in Minecraft. I mean, the ice peaks are right next to spawn, and there's a pink sheep. I know that's not going to be guaranteed in every single world, but, like, I got a pink sheep in spawn. Like, that's astounding. But this is we're going to be able to build this little starter base, and I'm really excited about it. So you guys, get your blocks ready. Let's get into it. The seed's down below if you want to play on this seed as well. And we're just going to be able to dig out a small little area and put in some cheap blocks that everyone has on day one, just to be able to have a little grid pattern rail to see where we're at. So this is going to be a 7 by 13 um little area that we're going to be digging out and then we're going to be also putting in on the side of it in the middle a five by seven five wide seven long and it's just this nice little area but when you're making a base like this what are your requirements what do you need from a starter base every starter base is going to be different by the way we're going to be looking at how to be able to expand possibly so plan that we're not going to be actually doing it we're just looking at where things could be maybe there's a tower maybe there's an outdoor area maybe it's just another extension we're going to be putting in the foundation but what do you need you need a bed a furnace some storage area crafting and workbenches. you need a portal do you need an enchantment area should you have your mine shaft here what about crops where are you going to do for food those questions are what we're going to be tackling while we're building this i'm really excited about it so we're putting up the walls we're going to have our short canes off to the side that little extension is going to be a little bit shorter and our tall canes are going to be in this main kind of area the front right there is our little short area that's going to be the, considered the front of our build and the rest of it's going to be the back side. I think it looks really, really nice. We're putting up this framing with some spruce and it looks wonderful. The thing about this I think is really awesome. We're doing it just out of a couple basic blocks. We're doing it with oak and spruce, and then cobblestone, a little bit of andesite, then whatever is needed to be able to craft some of the interior stuff like a little bit of wool for a painting, um, a little bit of iron for like a smithing bench small stuff like that uh it doesn't take a ton and yeah so we're doing this roof right here and by the way i didn't like it at first so i changed the way that front frame works so it looked better overall i really like it and it's able to have that little inset pattern i think it looks really nice we're doing something similar. but i did want to say if this is your kind of thing if you really like this and you're a youtuber or you have a youtuber you'd like to recommend let me know i want to do more of these i want to do them with people i want to do multiple builds where me and someone else kind of just do it together and we'll talk about what we did what we liked what we didn't like critique each other have fun and just chill out so if you're a youtuber and you want some stuff shout out or you have a friend that's a youtuber or just someone you're a fan of that you want to recommend let me know and i'd be happy to be able to do it also as i said at the beginning welcome to building waffle where we make your builds and probably waffle on about something else Drop your stuff in the suggestions down below and drop some comments. Let me know what you want to see. I'd be happy to comply and do some cool, fun stuff. But yeah, that's our roof. I'm super happy with it. And now we're working on texturing. This is something that if you are not a super duper grinder, you don't want to go chop a bunch of wood, I don't recommend doing. These are all stripped logs. It takes a lot. Every single one of them could be used for four planks instead. If you don't want to grind. Don't worry about it. It's fine. This is something that it's a tip. It's able to muddy it up. It's able to add some texture. Looks really, really nice. I like it. If you don't, Hey, good for you. You're able to figure out your own way to texture and it's going to look great, I'm sure. Um, one tip if you want to do it like this though, have the logs go in a line most of the time. So it looks like, oh, this three meters of planks fell out. Let's throw in a log to be able to patch it, but not all the time because, you know, maybe it corroded at different times in different ways. Also, I try to be random, but for some reason the roof is almost exclusively oak. Who knows why? Um, I'm also doing the same thing with the foundation. That's where the andesite mostly comes in. It's there. Now we're working on detailing which i really really love this is important if you want your starter base look. add some windows add a flower bed put in some fences to support the framing which feels serendipitous you know you're supporting your framing with more framing but that's fine um flower beds are wonderful having just this difference and break up the flatness on your build whatever it might be do something funky something crazy something you will like doing it's gonna look great i promise um we fix up the roof a little bit in the interior because it was going to be a little bit funky and now we have um our basic layout time for shrubbery uh it's cheap two iron for your shears chop down like a bushel from a tree you got shrubbery you got the greenery it looks amazing um <laughs> it's so cheap it's something you're able, easily able to do i always hesitate when i'm starting a survival world but like it's cheap and it looks so good. Do it. <laughs> it's going to look great. A uh, little flyover. I added in flowers, small detailing, pressing the windows and stuff like that. 
it's looking really good. And now right here, this is one of my favorite things. I hesitated to do this at first and I actually took a little bit to figure out how to do it. But this little arched curved little window. It's a little tiny little thing. It reminds me almost of like a hobbit hole if this was on the ground. They're tiny little things, tiny little additions. And they add so much to the build, I think. I think it looks amazing with this. I'm so glad I went with it. But I almost didn't. And I think it looks really, really good. Tiny little window, little supports underneath the spruce. It looks good. Um, now, this is a little area I wanted to add in. It's a little fence line where we're going to have a little small little area to ourselves before it goes out to a crop area. As I mentioned earlier, what are you going to do for food? This one, we're eating bread. By the way, adding flowers when you're by a beehive is so nice. The bees coming over are lovely. I love the bees in Minecraft. And in real life, honey is important. Um, just fly over adds a little bit of intrigue that you can't control. Sometimes there's fluttering. And we also add to the front, you know, those little uh, fences. Add lanterns or torches. It'll look nice. And yeah, I decided against the cobble, so I went with I thought it looked better. And now we're adding some stairs. Some of you are going to be bothered the way that interacts with the fence window. I think it looks fine. I like it. If you don't, change it up. Do something great and send it to me on Discord because down below there's a link to my fan Discord and you're able to post all your stuff there. Um, now, that below where the torches were is the ceiling for the downstairs. This is the floor for the upstairs and there's a gap there. I decided to sacrifice a couple blocks of space to be able to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more intrigue in the build by having that staircase go up a little bit higher and you're able to have a flat spot going into what's going to be the storage area over there. Now, if you really enjoy this, if you want to hang out with me more, you want to get to know somebody to remember a bit more, I'm going to plug my Twitch. The link's down below in the description. There's the seed, there's my Discord, and there's the Twitch. There's a lot of stuff to do. If you hit subscribe, I'd also appreciate that. But if you want to hang out with me on Twitch, I have um, community days on Saturdays where it's just kind of what the community has wanted me to do right now. There's a long running series with me and my buddy Swan. And I also play hardcore Minecraft after that. So if you want to see that, come on over. We're adding a storage area right now. Sometimes things are difficult to figure out. I took a long time to find out how to make it so the stairs look nice, but also made it so I can open that blasted first chest on both sides. Um, but I got it figured out. So it's able to work and it looks really nice. And everything up here is coming together so nice. We got our bed area figured out. We got some storage figured out. Those are both super duper important. And now it's time for workstations. I like the jumbled mess approach. It's all right there. I don't got to worry about it. It's all there. It looks all right enough. I think it's good. And enchantments right next to it because you're awesome. Go get that enchantment set up. Go get the smithing table. You're going to get netherite. I believe in you. You believe in you. Also, I'm putting in the roof. Shortened it down a little bit because I thought the peak was a little bit too sharp. I think it looks great, though. Uh, now we're adding a little bit of detail for storage area. Lighten it up because, you know, a creeper shows up and I'm going to cry. Ninja creepers are the end of existence. Now, this is something that's entirely up to you. Do you want a mine shaft? I wanted a mine shaft. I hate mining and I refuse to do it most of the time, but when I need stuff, I want a mine shaft nearby, but put in a fence gate. Once again, you don't want stealth creepers. <clears throat> but speaking of not wanting mobs in our base, I decided to put a lit nether portal because I want some mobs in my base. You know, I make bad choices. And here we are. We're going to start working on I love this out here. Giant wheat field. Imagine it just with me. Just wheat. It's lots and lots of wheat. Wonderful and amazing. And by the way, I didn't add in water because, well, this is creative. Doesn't matter that it grows slow. It'll be okay. Your survivor world, add in water. Come on, what you doing? You need food. It's early days. Food matters. And it's one of the few times where food actually is difficult to get in this game. I was using bone meal and then I remembered, <laughs> there's a there's a command for that, you know, increase tick speed. So I think it looks really cool when you just do it like that. It's really cool to watch a time lapse of wheat just grilling. But yeah, so that's what I decided to do. And then after that, I decided to add in this last little piece of resistance, a little stone wall. And I think it looks amazing. There's random shapes, bunch of different block types. And it just looks so good together. But yeah, that's the starter base, basically. And I want to ask you guys once again, what do you think? How do you want this to go in the future? Is there anything different you want me to do? And because this is our series, I'm making this for you guys. Please let me know. Give me some feedback. What would you like to see? You got any recommendations in the future of what you want me to be able to be building and stuff like that? I'd love to hear it. If you have another YouTuber that you want me to connect with to be able to do this with, also let me know because that'd be really, really cool. And I'd be happy to collab with whoever you guys got in mind. But yeah. So let's get one last time lapse as the sun goes by and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this build. I hope you guys do too. I hope you're able to take some inspiration from this and figure out how you want to do it on your own. I promise in the future we probably will end up getting off topic because that is how I am. Check out the Twitch if you don't believe me. But yeah, build and waffle. 
I build your ideas and I waffle on about something else. But today we stayed on topic. Ain't that something? I'm proud of myself. I hope you are too. If you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, and subscribing down below, I would really appreciate it because I think that's awesome. If you want to watch something else of mine, you're able to check right here how I have this wonderful end of the series of a Skyblock build I did with my friend Fixit. And I was able to build some pretty little bugs and stuff like that. And it was a lot of fun. So if you want to find something else to watch, that is a great video to be able to check out. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys sometime soon with the next one.